trade outside of doing stuff like this and doing fun for kills is I'm a nurse. I'm a, I'm a registered nurse and I'm a pediatric nurse. And to be more specific, I'm a neonatal intensive care nurse. Wow. So many times we have um, patients who come through with dwarfism and then with other complications that they do have, but not all patients who come through and are born with dwarfism have different types of complications. So it's always amazing to see though. I feel like sometimes um, all of our patients who come with different types of congenital diagnosis, whether it's heart conditions or whether it's spinal conditions, whatever it may be, they all are, have, in my experience, have been born to really fantastic parents. And I just feel like, you know, it goes back to kind of God gives you what you can handle. And it's, mm -hmm. it's really amazing to hear that you had a great childhood coming up and upbringing and, um, and, and that's, you know, where you are today is being able to carry that on to know that there are differences and there are not necessarily differences with you, but it can be possible that families are raising children who are average height families raising dwarfism um, kids. So um, and thank you for sharing that part of your story too. It's funny, I was at a conference recently, a disability conference, and someone made a good observation that once someone opens up about their relationship, obviously not saying, oh, I know everything, but like, mm -hmm. oh, I've been in environments, I've seen right. people like you before, it kind of, breaks down a little bit of a wall where you're like, yeah. oh, they understand a little bit more. <laughs> exactly. and, and of course, you're seeing it from the beginning mm -hmm. stages of whether families are going to show their support. 